Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on binomial distribution probabilities using the distribution app on a Casio FXCG50. Let's take a look at the question. In a school, 15% of students can play the piano. A random sample of 40 students is taken from the school. The random variable x represents the number of students who can play the piano. Given that x is distributed binomially with an n of 40 and a probability of 0 0.15. And you can see there that that probability is 15% represented as a decimal. Now we've got quite a number of probabilities here to explore. The chances are in a question you might find, you may only have two or three to find, but I wanted to explore all the different ways that we can get a probability using the distribution app on the CG50. From the main menu, navigate down to distribution, and we want to select the first option there, binomial. Now the input screen that I have here is the default input screen. Yours may look slightly different depending on what you last used the binomial distribution app for. If we take a look at the first probability, we need to find the probability that x equals 5, i.e. what is the probability that 5 of the students in our sample of 40 can play the piano. So at this point we just need to press F4 to get a single value. You can see it's x equals. Navigate down. We need to input the x value, that is 5 in this case. Number of trials, that is 40. And then the probability as a decimal, 0 0.15. Press execute and then execute one last time to confirm. Now we can see the distribution displayed here in graphical form. And we have the probability that we are looking for at the top here, 0 0.1691 to four significant figures. Now, if we need more than that, what we can do is highlight that probability 0 0.1691, press option and then F1. And you can see we've got up to nine significant figures there displayed if we need more. But a lot of the time, four significant figures is usually sufficient. So we're going to stick with that for the rest of our probabilities. Let's exit. Now what you can do within the app, if we scroll to the x value and then, well, we can explore some of the other probabilities that we have here. You can see 5 has got quite a tall bar there, it's highlighted in blue. So it's actually quite a likely outcome. We're likely to find maybe 5 people who can play the piano, but if we have a look next to it, 6 is even taller. So 6 is actually the most likely number of students we can find who can play the piano within our sample of 40. And we can explore all the values as well, 7 and so on. Let's go to the second probability that we need to find, x equals 10. So let's input 10. And we can see the probability here, 0 0.0372. About a 3.7% chance of finding 10 students who can play the piano. Now we can actually alter the type of probability that we're looking for from individual values to cumulative values within the distribution display. But I'm going to show you that a bit later. I'm just going to go back to the main input screen just in case you wanted to do a cumulative probability from the very beginning. So exit and then we'll navigate back up to tail. Now our next probability three is the probability x is less than or equal to four. So less than or equal to, well, that is F1 from the options here. We can see that that is a lower tail. And it's worth bearing in mind that its X is less than or equal to. So we can equal the value of 4 as well. Let's change our X to 4. Number of trials and probability remain the same. So just press execute. And we can see here on the display that we've got the bars for 0, very small, 1, 2, 3, 4 displayed. So we're... We're counting all of the probabilities for those values, and we've got 0 0.2633 as our answer. Probability 4 is that x is less than 9, so it's strictly less than. So what we really want to include here is values from 0 to 8. So we want to enter the probability x is less than or equal to 8, and press Execute. 
So that's just something to look out for. Remember that the probability includes the value that you're inputting. And as the binomial is a discrete distribution, if we want, say, less than nine, that means we need to input the number below that, which is eight, and that will include values that are less than and equal to eight. And we can see that displayed here on the graph there. So we haven't actually got the value of nine included. Probability there, 0 0.8645. Okay, let's change within the actual distribution display here. So if you press Option, then we're going to switch to the upper tail for probabilities greater than or equal to. So in this option here, it is F4. You can see it displayed graphically. Now, by default, it has just kept the value of 8 in there from our previous calculation, but we want to work out the probability X is greater than or equal to 12. From the look of the distribution, it seems not very likely that we're going to get 12 or more students who play the piano. So let's have a look at what that is. Enter 12. And you can see we've got very small bars highlighted here. I'm just going to exit out of the option so we can see the values it would go all the way up to 40 and that equals 0 0.0119 so only just a little bit more than one percent probability that 12 or more in our sample can play the piano probability six there x is greater than zero so we're looking for at least one student who can play the piano in the group that seems highly likely so we're just going to input the value of one here x is greater than or equal to one well, you can see here 0.9984. So it's very likely that we're going to find at least one student who can play the piano in a sample of 40. Our last probability then is the probability that X is greater than or equal to three, but less than or equal to seven. That is a region in the center of the distribution. So from here, we just need to press option and F3. And you can see that we've got two entry points that we can input there. So a lower bound of three and an upper bound of seven. Press execute and you can see that we've got the probabilities for three, four, five, six and seven all highlighted on the distribution in blue. Press exit, we can see those. And we've got the probability here 0 0.7073. So there we go, how we can use the distribution app on the Casio FX CG50 to find probabilities using the binomial distribution. Lots of different types of probability that we can find within this app. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.